my homily for the 29th Sunday in ordinary time, the 16th of October 2022. To pray continually and never lose heart. That is what Jesus is encouraging us to do today. I'm sure we've all had moments when we've been tempted to give up, when things have been tough or we've failed and felt it's not worth carrying on. And maybe we have given up at times, but then come back. Whatever, we have persevered, or we wouldn't be here now praying together as a community the great prayer of the Mass that links us directly with Jesus' saving death and resurrection. I think perseverance is an essential Christian requirement. How else could we carry on in the face of disappointments with ourselves, with our community, with our church, with our clergy, with society and with humanity? There are many reasons why we could walk away from here, but we don't. We stick at it because we know there is something here that gives us hope our loving Saviour, Jesus Christ. Today, Jesus gives us a parable, a story to make us think about a totally self-absorbed judge without concern for anyone but himself. But he is worried by a widow. A woman without a man was in a difficult situation in their culture. And so the law said special consideration should be given to widows. The judge is unmoved by that, but is concerned that the widow's constant demands of him for justice will wear him out and the widow is in the right, which must have helped to keep her going. He knows she won't give up, and so he gives in. He gives her justice. We've seen similar situations here in recent years, and think particularly of the Hillsborough families. Now, God is no unjust judge. Jesus makes that clear. But the point is that even such a man as that can be worn down by persistence. How much more will our loving God respond to us if we don't give up? if we persist in prayer. Jesus says that God will see justice done to his chosen who cry to him day and night. Persistence in prayer is essential, otherwise we can treat God like a fairy godmother, there to grant our wishes. We need to create a habit of daily prayer. I must say that it has done me a lot of good, that quiet time in prayer in the church before I open up. I still feel at times that I would rather not bother. But I know that persistence in that situation really bears fruit because then I'm doing it for God, not for myself. And when I give to God, he gives me so much more in return. That is my experience. I know that if you have a full-time job and a family, that you may only be able to manage a couple of minutes a day and sometimes not even that. But that counts for a lot with God because he knows what effort it requires. One way might be for couples and families to pray together it could be a really special time with the sharing of fears and concerns and joys and sorrows. A way to help us unload and to pass things on to God that we can't handle. Many of our problems, I'm convinced, come from trying to sort it all out ourselves when we should hand it over to God. I have a quote in the Sacristy from St Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. We see no answer to our problems, but we never despair. Instead, we give it to God in prayer. Lord God, help us to be a people of prayer, people who have a real relationship with you.